The closest statewide race on the ballot that we're seeing is whether to keep three state Supreme Court justices on the bench here in Oklahoma. Let's go out to KOCO's Dakota Wapakichi and Dakota. These races, we've been covering this for a while. I have never seen this much attention. They have never been this this contested, Dakota. Yeah, everything's been changing so fast. I mean, these, these judicial uh, retention and votes have been really close. Justice Gurdge, she was losing a little bit ago. Now she's in the lead and there's just a little, just a few precincts left to go. Now, Justice Conger, she was slowly inching back and now uh, her vote, it looks a little far. She's losing about 20,000 uh, in a difference from yes to no. And Justice Edmondson, he's running away with his retention. Uh, it looks like it's about 25 to 30,000 vote difference. Now, I'm here at the Oklahoma Democratic Party watch party. I talked with Democratic leaders here and at the GOP watch party about this tight race. Especially with these three, they've been very liberal. They've legislated from the bench. They don't represent Oklahoma values. So I'm hopeful that we will be able to remove them tonight and replace them with constitutional judges. It shouldn't be this close. It shouldn't be this close. Uh, judges should have judicial independence to follow the law. Uh, you know, you shouldn't try to influence judges uh, based on politics. It's about following the law. Now we're down to the last few precincts. The last time I checked, it was down to the last 1% and around 1.5 million Oklahomans voted on this. Reporting live to Kodawapakichi, KOCO 5 News.